Okay, so we just got back to the hotel room. Um, and we got some cool things for you guys to see. So let me flip the camera around and show you them right now. Hello everybody, this is Drew. Uh, day two just wrapped up at uh, the BRNA. Found a few cool coins today. And I wanted to show you guys a few uh, kind of in the light box um, before, uh, just to show you everything that I got today. Um, a lot of cool raw stuff today. Uh, a little bit less of the holdered stuff. But I'm going to give you my opinion on those coins and a few things uh, from these holder coins. So stay tuned. Alrighty. So here are the coins I wanted to show you guys today. This is uh, 1879S Morgan Silver Dollar. If I could focus here. Uh, it's a uh, graded MS64 DMPL by ANX, um, and my opinion of the coin is I believe it's dimple. And so what you're going to run into on many of the older coins in these ANX slabs is they didn't know what a PL from a dimple from a regular business strike was sometimes. If it was flashy, sometimes they put a PL. If it was PL, they sometimes put a dimple. So when I bought this coin, I said, I, th I believe it's a dimple, a true dimple, and that makes it easier to sell. And you can just tell by the black reflect reflective fields, and also the mirroring on this coin uh, goes pretty far as well. Uh, I would say it goes up to 8 inches. And this was probably the most eye appealing coin of the day. I got a lot of raw stuff, which will be sent off to grading, and I'll show you guys that here in just a moment. Up next is a Tone Morgan Dollar that we uh, got at the show as well from my buddy Harrison. Um, this is a really uh, interesting pedigree that demands a high premium, even if it's uh, not the coolest or most beautiful coin. The Battle Creek collection is very uh, prestigious uh, in the toning community, so anytime you can get one of these for an affordable price, um, it's good to hop on it. And so what's nice about this coin is the luster is so beautiful on it. Uh, it does have that star 4 eye appeal, and I just love the luster on this coin. Um, you don't see that too often. Um, uh, well, with Battle Creek you do, but um, I don't know. The luster is very, uh, it's, it's, in hand it's really nice um, compared to most coins. And you're going to notice something about this slab. This slab is actually cracked at the bottom, and it reaches all the way around. Um, up the left side of the coin right here um, but for what I paid um, I don't mind taking a risk on it and people love Battle Creek uh, stuff and so I was like you know what I think it's uh, it's worth it and people just enjoy the slab and it's not really it doesn't it cracked right here and it cracked down here but none of the plastics missing um, but I think that like I said, I'll find a new owner for it just because of the pedigree and uh, the qualities of the coin. Sometimes the plastic to me doesn't really make a difference. And in this case, uh, I hope you agree with that. So I got a coin at the show that uh, used to be designated. Um, you can see it's a 1922D, um, but it's actually, if you zoom in, it's actually a weak D. If you can see that D, it's kind of hard. I don't have my loop with me. Um, but it's a 22 week D. Almost looks like a really small O. And they used to designate these until uh, I think last year when they stopped. But I really like the original red brown to this coin. Um, and so I ended up buying it just in case something like this ever came back. Um, and I kind of wanted to start maybe setting aside some pennies that I did really enjoy but I really like the brown to this coin um, and the red to it and I just I don't know I really like it and I think it's beautiful uh, I paid a little bit under what price guide would command for it uh, but it's a cool variety that isn't designated anymore but I really like the coin and um, I hope you guys do too um, you just don't see many 64's with this kind of luster right now but I think that what took it back from uh, making it higher was the the weak strike on the face you can kind of see that glossiness in the cheek and also in the jaw 
but still an amazing coin. I really enjoy it, and I um, hope a few of you Weed Scent guys out there do as well. So, But let me hop into uh, the next raw, raw coin. Uh, most of these are going to be raw for the end of the video. Um, a lot of these, like I said, are going to be off for grading. This is an 1878S uh, Morgan Dollar. Uh, the thing that I love about it is this terminal crescent below, uh, below, and it's on the date. And uh, you just don't see color on 1878S's right now going for pretty cheap. I did pay up for this coin, but I think um, it has a shot at uh, 64. And in 64 with this color, uh, you could probably get 250, 275, something like that. Uh, currently for it, but I think it's really beautiful, and uh, I couldn't find too many tone stuff at the show, and so uh, when I picked this one up, I I just wanted to help uh, maybe a few customers find something they would like for their collection, or something that I could send off uh, with a submission that I have currently going out probably this week. So uh, I think this one's a really beautiful example and I'm very fortunate enough to be able to hold it and work with it. This next coin is going to be a shocker to you in terms of uh, its affordability. So I paid $100 for this 1998 uh, Jefferson Nickel and someone right now is scratching their head calling me uh, weird saying what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Um, and so uh, as you saw on the obverse the person that sold this thinks it's a 66 full steps um, and I, I would have to agree with them um, the 66 full steps is pretty uh, it's pretty eminent on this coin it has great detail has great color and I wanted to take a risk and start moving into more uh, different coins and uh, actually if you look up price guide for this coin a 66 full steps on a 1998 is around uh, $500. Uh, some have sold for $400, um, some have sold for $450. And so I thought this was uh, a really good contender for my PCGS sub. And uh, we'll see how that comes back. Hopefully I don't get my uh, butt beat for it, but we'll have to see. But it's still a pretty unique coin. And I love to try to figure out and do more things with it. Um, but let me know what you guys think of the grade. I know it's uh, not the best video quality but uh, I do think it has uh, a shot at 66 full steps. Next we're going to be showing off another uh, nickel. So this is a 1940p um, and what I like about it is the color. So if you, if you put it under the light it has the green, the pink, um, kind of this nice golden uh, gold tint to it as well. I got this one for free uh, with the other one and so uh, I wanted to just get it and maybe do a giveaway with it. I don't know. It's something cool that um, people enjoy and they like. And uh, the thing that took away from, the, I would say, the grade on this coin is a fingerprint. It's on, above the uh, Monticello. Um, if you ever have a fingerprint on a coin, um, that's a no bueno territory. And uh, so I would proceed. If you ever want to hold a coin in hand, uh, I would do it with, with caution. But I do enjoy the color on this coin. And I don't know, huh, I might submit it, might do something like that uh, here in the in a, in a few days. I might not, but uh, when it, it's beautiful and it has nice toning, sometimes you just got to buy it and pick it up and uh, show some people that uh, coin show raw coins are, are, are pretty good sometimes. So, pretty, pretty, I love this coin, it's pretty lovely. Now, I wanted to show you guys one more coin today. This was probably uh, the find of the day. So... This is a 1916D. Um, the dealer graded it AG3, which I um, wholeheartedly disagree with. Um, I think it has enough detail uh, to be a good four. And if it's a good four, um, those are selling for around, for around $950 right now. Uh, key date dimes are really, really hot. Uh, I think what's holding it back from a G6 is the wear on the right side of the reverse. Um, and so when I actually came up to the table, I saw this coin, 1916D, labeled 425. Um, I wanted to work them down to four, and I, I pulled this coin out and said, hey, I, actually, no, I pulled this coin out, and I was about to give him 400 bucks and say, hey, can you take 400? He actually just said, hey, just take it for 375. So, uh, you know, after grading, it's going to be around 425 for this coin. And then 
425 all the way up to 925 that's a $500 return if it hits good four and so you know it's just a really a, a nice find uh, in this hot market and I can't wait to uh, see what PCGS thinks of it and find a new owner for it but let me guys let me just show you guys this coin one more time and I wanted to say thank you guys for watching this part of the video and following me on this uh, BRNA journey um, it was a wild one and uh, I'm so fortunate enough to be handling all these coins and showing you guys them so thank you guys so much I wanted to thank you guys today for watching uh, this video uh, a lot of cool uh, coins that we were able to discuss and I hope you learned a few things. And if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like. Um, comment what you thought uh, your favorite coin was. And uh, subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, we're trying to upload three times a week. So I hope you guys stay tuned for more videos. And I will uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.